he was the colorful character Carlo in The Godfather. In his new memoir, Hollywood Godfather, My Life in the Movies and the Mob, Johnny Russo reveals intimate stories about superstars of the silver screen and his ties to organized crime. In this Daily Mail TV exclusive, Russo opens up about the famous women he's been with and his close connection to the king of rock and roll and that one night that could have got them both killed. Elvis. He was crazy. He watched cowboy movies until the sun came up. One night, we're watching a cowboy movie. He throws over the couch, he gets behind it, and he's shooting a 45 that the army gave him. So he didn't know I carried guns. I was on the other side of the room. I rolled over the thing, and we started shooting up the whole place. You had a real loaded real gun, ball, real gun watching gun. a cowboy Coming movie. Down. There's a shootout, not, not shooting at each other, but shooting in the air. Mood. Yeah. Thank God we were on the roof. If there was a family upstairs, they would have been dead. It's no secret that Elvis loved his peanut butter, bacon, and banana, or nana, as he called them sandwiches, but... The thing that I thought was the weirdest thing in the world, sometimes we would leave Vegas at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to go to San Francisco for peanut butter and banana sandwiches. He loved those. I know, but I can make them in my house and bring them over. <laughs> we got to fly two hours up, two hours. We're we going crazy. You weren't just rubbing elbows, though, with wise guys and good fellows and crooners and actors, but you had some romantic involvement as well. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Russo claims to have had an ongoing affair with Marilyn Monroe, starting when he was a teen and she was in her early 30s. You also dated Jaja Gabor. I hear you falling in love and not with me. How is that possible? I really didn't. That was a Merv Griffin spoof on me. It was the opening of Mame, and he said, I got a date for you. I want you to take Shasha Gabor. I said, could you pick somebody else? Mm. So I went with her, and it turned out all right, because she hooked me up on a 12. How does that happen? I took her back to the house, and she says, you want to come in for a drink? So I went in. I figured, hey, I'll mark her down as one, a celebrity that I was with. So we go in, and she goes to change, and she says, come in here and get me comfortable. So I got in her bed. The next thing you know, the light goes out, somebody gets into bed, not Jaja Gabor, a 12. Amazing. Finish our duty, <laughs> she gets out, next the light goes back on, a Jaja coming in with a robe on. So I think it's time for you to go. I said, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Johnny, you had a very, very tough life, I have to say. I know. So far, it sounds I'm tough. I'm trying to get through it. I think you have your next movie script. I think so, too. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <It's> God. <unbelievable>. <laughs> Gianni Russo's memoir, Hollywood Godfather, My Life in the Movies and the Mob, is out now.